everybody, it's Rick Braun, back for part two of Ask Rick, and uh, today I'm going to answer some questions, some questions that have been asked by you, um, my fans, and uh, people from all over the world. The first question comes from someone in South Africa, um, in Zambia, and it's a very interesting question because it's something that everybody who's trying to improve at what they do comes across, not just learning an instrument, but uh, I've come across this many times where I've hit a plateau and have not been able to get through it no matter how hard I tried. So the question was, uh, what do you do? What do you do when you hit a place, you're trying to learn something and it seems like you just can't get, get through that, that point of uh, where you want to get better? Um, what I've always done is to uh, take a break. <laughs> take a little break. Get away from it. I mean, it might sound silly, but go to the mountains, go out, get to a place where you can just kind of recenter yourself because learning an instrument is a lot of muscle memory, a lot of brain interacting with muscles and trying to get that coordination to, uh, to happen on a regular basis it doesn't happen overnight. And sometimes you can work yourself into a place where the frustration sets in and you can't get past it without getting away and getting a fresh perspective. So take a break. Take a break and then come back. It's it's usually worked for me, and I hope that helps you. Um, another question that I've had, and I'll answer this one, and then uh, we'll have to stop, and I'll go for part three. But this question was uh, also a musical one. What is the scale or the scales that I like to use the most? Well, it's a tough question because the scale that I'm playing is dictated by the chord that is going on. It's like if you have a problem with your car and there's a screw that you need to take off, you wouldn't reach for a wrench to fix that. You need a screwdriver. You need a particular screwdriver. Well, music is like that. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of nuts and bolts. If you're playing over a, a, over a, uh, a dominant chord, what I would usually go for, and, and, and one of my favorite scales to go for, is uh, a half-step, whole step. There are lots of other scales you can use, but a half-step, whole step is one that generates a lot of tension. It also works over a lot of different kinds of dominant chords. I won't get too technical, but I will show you what, that's, what that scale sounds like. last one I played was an altered scale, sorry, but uh, <laughs> but that you can get an idea. And when it resolves, it resolves. You can hear how it, uh, it resolves and, and the tension goes away and all of a sudden, ah. So there, there are two answers to uh, two questions. There are a lot more questions coming in, but here is my question to you. I am considering giving uh, lessons, uh, lessons on trumpet, um, lessons on engineering or production, or uh, just general um, educational things uh, from my life experience. Um, so I'm asking you out there if anyone would be interested in taking lessons with Rick Braun. If you are, I will definitely make it happen. So thanks for uh, asking Rick. And uh, be honest with you, I didn't make anything up this time, but uh, I'm sure it'll come. So, see you next time.